Inside Washington is an opportunity for students who are studying political science to go to Washington, D.C. and spend two weeks getting an intimate look at the nation's capital. Students participate in seminars. They go on site visits to members of Congress office, to embassies, to news media outlets. It enables them to get kind of a firsthand view about what's going on in the nation's capital. It gives them a little taste of life in Washington so they can decide whether they'd like to intern in another semester or even perhaps pursue a career in Washington, D.C. I really did enjoy the program. When you really think about it, the entire experience, meeting new people, the traveling, it was just a completely new experience and it was an amazing time. It was a really great experience. I loved waking up really early and going right into the day, getting on the metro, going right into the heart of the city, and just hearing about politics and the campaigns and hearing all these impressive people speak. It was really it was really great. And then continuing the day on from there, going to embassies, going to monuments, going to site visits, and talking in a group where every single student is just as interested as I am in these things is just so great and formative. With the presidential election this year, it was rather a natural choice that we look at what role the media played in this election, in particular because the role of the media is changing so drastically. It's interesting for students to look at that. It's also nice for them to have access to some of the prime movers and shakers in the media world who are in Washington, D.C. I'd always seen Ted Koppel on TV and Dana Perino speaking, and when I saw the addendum and I saw that they were uh, scheduled to speak, I realized how much of a prestigious program this is. I was really on something pretty special. To, to hear them speak was really quite amazing. Uh, Ted Koppel is such an intelligent guy, and to hear him talk about the Middle East the way he did was really impressive. One part of the program was called uh, Common Sense, um, and it pretty much was this, we had these two gentlemen up on the stage talking to us about bringing the two uh, parties, the Republican Party and the Democrat Party together to work together and to get things done during a crisis that we're having right now. It was really inspirational to hear the ambassador from Pakistan come and speak because he laid out his ideas in a way that wasn't pandering to us and it wasn't, it wasn't insulting to us and after it was over he got a huge standing ovation and when our group went to go have our meeting one of the students on our delegation was so taken with the ambassador's lecture that he was crying it was so it was so impressive and moving to 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 see that this man made such an impression on this kid most of us went down there not knowing each other and we have never met or we've had class to each with each other but we didn't really talk we weren't really close at all and then we got down there, and it was just such an amazing experience. And we just really came together as a group. I came out of that event with 15 friends, honestly. In all honesty, I, I didn't have very many expectations because I was a little unsure of what was going to happen just because of the sheer magnitude of the program. But when I got there, I was so thrilled to find out that it was totally like nothing I had expected. It was so much better. There were just incredible speakers, incredible opportunities to meet people. They had a, a gala one night. It just gave me great opportunities to meet people who are now my friends and people who may be professional acquaintances in the future. I'm thrilled that I went, even though I'm still tired, even though classes ended Saturday, well, Friday, and I've just, I still like, I feel like I've been going nonstop because Saturday was the museum, Sunday was the um, the concert, the inaugural concert. Monday, me and my friend Sal had to go into the city to pick up the inaugural inauguration tickets. And then Tuesday was the inauguration. Wednesday was checkout. I just feel like no matter what, even without class, I've been going nonstop and loving every minute of it.